Hello everybody, welcome to Snobs Creek. So uh, what we'll do here is today we're talking about salmonids, which that includes trout and salmon. So the three species that we mainly do here are rainbow trout, brown trout and chinook salmon. What I have behind me here is the brood ponds. These are the trout brood ponds. That we, um, they're the parents of the fish that you'll see shortly and the parents of the fish that we release uh, right throughout the year, every year. One's behind me here, a rainbow trout. They eat a specialised, eat a specialised diet. This is nine mil uh, trout diet designed for brood stock. And um, uh, trout are very lucky. Trout are easy to feed as they'll eat artificial diet. Can you imagine producing 70 tonnes of worms a year? It'd just be unfeasible. So what we're going to do now is throw some food around. These are rainbow trout, they're three year old. These fish have been used to take the eggs from and the milk from the males and will, and their um, offspring are in the hatchery at the moment. And these fish have been reconditioned and then will be released. So all the fish produced here at Snobs Creek all end up being released in the long run. So these brood stock have been here for three years and over the next coming months and later in next year, these fish will be replaced with future brood fish. So two year olds will be coming up from there. So these are rainbows being reconditioned. Next door, we have brown trout. These are also three year old. And they've given their eggs to us very kindly this year. These fish will also be released uh, into some of the more trophy waters, such as the Orton Pondy. These fish are around three kilos and produce around about a thousand eggs per kilo. So each of these females in here will probably produce around about 3,000 eggs. Okay, here we have rainbow trout. These guys here will be conditioned for family fishing fish, so it's still holiday. And at the moment, they are 12 months of age. And uh, they, these ones here will actually be fat enough for about 200 grams and they will be uh, ready for the upcoming school holidays. These are Chinook Salmon Broodstock, three year old and uh, these will be the parents of 2021's uh, production. What we have here are brown trout eggs. These are eggs that came from the brood stock that you saw me feeding earlier. Uh, these are the last of the eggs that we've got here for 2020. Once these uh, have eyed up, they've been in here for a couple of weeks now. They'll um, usually run for about four to five weeks on the incubators, uh, depending on the water temperature. At the moment, there's only about 24,000 um, brown trout eggs left, and uh, these, once they're eyed up, which means the fish are developing inside the egg, they will uh, then be uh, put through an egg counter, a sorter, where the dead eggs are removed and the good eggs are counted. After that, we'll see where they go next. Okay, what we have here is um, trout that are uh, another couple of weeks moved on from when they came out of the egg. As you can see, some of these have just started to swim up. At this stage, we feed them a crumble, an artificial diet that um, to get them started. It takes a while for them to get used to the feed, but they still have a little bit of egg sac residue in them. So these guys even though they don't look like it, will actually eat this food. And then um, uh, this is just the third stage of their juvenile process. We'll move out to some that are eating a little bit more enthusiastically. Once the fish have 
fish get to a certain size, the actual feed size increases. We start off at about 0.3 of a mil. This is 0.5. It goes to 0.7. They're actually individual pellets. Uh, it's uh, quite expensive food and very well made. It's produced in Tasmania and um, we uh, import that here for the feeding of the trout. Uh, so after this stage, they will then go on to say 1 mil, 2 mil, 3 mil, all the way up to, to 9 mil. These guys have been feeding for some time as Chinook salmon hatch earlier than the trout species. So these guys actually were spawned in March. So they're a little bit more advanced and these guys were headed into the uh, crater lake. That's um, Lake Bulamerai and Lake Purrumbu. So I'll just catch a few out here so you can see the beautiful silver colour of the Chinook salmon. So these guys are destined to go out shortly and uh, will probably enjoy their new environment once they're there. Okay, here we have some rainbow trout in 5,000 litre tanks. These guys have a net put on because we are actually in the, uh, the open elements here and uh, herons certainly like to eat trout. So we try to protect our stock and uh, cover them with bird netting. Because we're outside, the reflection makes the uh, video a little bit hard to see the fish in the tank, but hopefully you can see some of these here. They're six weeks old rainbow trout. They've been eating for about three weeks now, and they've grown about three grams already. So these guys are the, um, are the largest of the trout uh, for 2020, and we'll be starting to release these, hopefully about 30 to 50 grams in a few months. Oh, now we're back outside again. What we have here is brown trout. Uh, these guys now are on a uh, four mil diet. So once again, we're stepped up in food. These guys over here are actually um, brown trout that are going to more of the red fin infected water. So they're a larger fish than the normal stock brown trout that we put out. So I'll just throw a bit of food out and just show you. It's about 10,000 in this uh, raceway. the season. They're quite large as you can see. These guys will be going to places that uh, we have trouble with red fin. These are slightly larger than normal but they're left over from last year. Thank you for joining us today everybody uh, for a short tour of Snobs Creek Hatchery. Um, this year we've produced over 1.2 million salmonids for release and next year's target's 1.5. So thanks once again for joining us today and um, hopefully this time next year you'll be able to join us on site to have a look around.